What was liberation like? Do you remember? Well, uh, approximately that's what it was when the, you know, we got there and they told us to be inside and then uh, we in saw the, the, in the barracks and uh, commotion outside the Germans and the English uh, soldiers. And then, um, then they started to give us food and what they gave us cans of fat food and our stomachs, were not, we were not used to having um, such rich, <laughs> such uh, rich food, food. Uh, you know, instead just to have a little uh, cereal or a little pudding or something, we got all this stuff naturally, we got all sick and lots of people, they, they were just extremely sick. Who, what what uh, nationality troops liberated uh, English, was English? Yeah, England. English. Yeah. Now, it, uh, it's I, I don't even want to talk about it the way this uh, this place looked like because everybody had diarrhea. Mm. Uh, it's not nice to talk about it, but it was a horror. Terrible. Uh, horror. Were, were, once liberation occurred, were you still at Bergen-Belsen, or did they take you and the others no, away to a different we camp? We were there, and then. Uh, from there we went into, we still stayed in Bergen-Belsen, but like in different conditions, like houses, I believe. They were like homes, and that's where we stayed. And, um, and from there, um, I guess once we gained our strengths a little bit, we wanted to get home. So we started towards heading home. When you say we, you mean your, your sister uh, who you sister, met up with there, and my Frida as well? well Frida at that point, um, went to Sweden hmm. because she was there too, but she was also sick, and then she went to Sweden. She why, had an opportunity. Why, why did she go to Sweden? Because she had an opportunity and uh, they took her to, you know, to she signed up. To recuperate she went, in Sweden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she went to Sweden and I stayed with my sister. And um, then we headed home with my sister. And there were other people. Uh, there were friends and, you know, people from our hometown. It, it always were lots of people, but really only my sister and myself. Your first thought was to go home, though? We wanted to get home very much. We wanted to see who is left, who is left uh, from the family, and if anybody's alive. At this point, all you knew was your sister, who you met at Bergen-Belsen. That was all... Uh, That's all. And then we were hoping that maybe somebody was. somewhere is going to still be alive. And my other sister, we, we were hoping that she's alive with my niece, because she went to work, and my brother. So um, we were heading, we went to, well, <laughs> transportation was very free. We went to the station and got on the train. Didn't have to have a ticket? Uh, no ticket, no food, no, no luggage, no nothing. You just go. Thousands of people. We're going back and forth. Everybody, everybody. It was a chaos. And was you there a general happy feeling because the war was over, or was it? We uh, were numb. numb. We were, we were numb. We were still hungry, shocked, uh, shocked and, and everybody is asking about everybody. Did you see so and so? Did you meet? And everybody meets everybody and talks Find about out who's it. Alive who's alive? Who's alive? And and, um, mm. uh, and you still look for food. So um, you get on the plane, on the not plane, um, on the train, and we were going towards Czechoslovakia, and then we crossed the border. We got into Czechoslovakia on the train. When we got to Prague, I remember uh, that's when they said that our place is occupied from the Russians. Mm. That they was were the in day. Munkaj. The Russians yeah. had occupied Munkaj. Uh, that's right. And we were heading towards Munkaj. So then um, somebody told us that my brother is alive, and they saw him in Munkac. So that but he was looking for somebody, and we were looking for somebody. And um, so we were going, um, well, we went through Czechoslovakia, and every time the train would stop, we would go off and go look for food. So what do you do? You mm. beg for food. And if you can steal a little food, then you steal a little food. Whatever you need to do to survive. It's not a, It's nothing. It was not a big deal. Yeah, everybody if you was see, doing it. If you see uh, a piece of bread, you, you take it. Uh, you yeah. take it. You just. You have to survive. And and the, on the country.